All right, so elements of search, again, same stuff. Title, keyword in the title, um, is the phrase there, you know, are, are they as compliant as possible with the scoring algorithm? Again, it's the biggies. Title, tag, <coughs> header, first paragraph is the word somewhere on the page. Interesting things we have internationally is, is segmentation. China's a big problem in, with this where um, there's no space between characters. In like antivirus software, there's 21 ways to write it. So which is the one that's more popular? And so auto-suggest is a great way to test this. Get the Chinese character, um, you know, and then try the auto-suggest. And that's often hierarchically based on demand. Auto-suggest is a big problem for big companies now because if you start typing, like in Japanese, the phonetic Panasonic, it will actually flip it either to the English Panasonic or the Japanese. And if you don't read it, you, you may not know what they're serving you up as an example. Uh, conversion paths, the same thing. The other big one is most of the stuff we put in place, the language, is, is a gotcha uh, you know, around the world. So language, how many people use BrowserHawk on their website? You may know what BrowserHawk is. It's like the number one language detection, uh, checks for um, everything from uh, Flash, all those type things. It's big on mid-sized companies. It, first thing it will do is if, if Google is coming in from the US, it will route you to the US website. It will never see any of the other international websites unless you put the exception to let the search engines have any page that they want. So that's a big problem we'll talk about architecture in a minute. Um, technical <coughs> challenges. So these are the things we got to worry about. So having keywords and things like that is exactly the same. Um, CMS settings are a big, big problem like that detection. Um, Geo-targeting we'll talk about in a moment. Um, some of the language, uh, right to left reading, left to right, double byte, the segmentation issue, that's a big problem. <coughs> There's not many multilingual tools. Uh, we'll talk about some of the bid management. There's really not much out there uh, for scoring international websites that, that's publicly available. Um, like Web CEO, it does a little bit. You'd think it's a Russian-made product that they'd understand double byte. It doesn't work well with double byte, with Japanese, Russian, uh, Chinese. It's almost worthless. There's, not many scoring tools that you can use, um, you know, to test your pages, unfortunately. So um, there's some <coughs> unique ones in those markets. That's why you may want to find a partner there. Um, hosting and link building, so some of the things we'll talk about. Number one, templates. Um, so I'm going to jump ahead to this, just to give you the screenshot. The visual is, is there. So like we said, I'll give you an example from IBM in a moment, but if you can create your template where it's search friendly, as you push it out to other <coughs> markets, it's reasonably search friendly out of the box. You know, if you write the right business rule that says put this word here, put this <coughs> word here, as long as the word is in your database, it will get inserted in the right place. And, and this is a key thing because people will cobble together a site for Spain, maybe they'll do it, well, WordPress is actually a good thing, but you know, they're putting it out there on a different format for whatever reason. They don't want it to be associated with their main site. So they're cobbling together these sites that don't have the right infrastructure. Um, so I'll give an example of how this will work. So at IBM, um, the product catalog where you can buy their software is available in 235 countries, 23 languages, um, and, and you can order products physically from it in 33 countries. Um, almost no traffic or sales from search. Number one reason, they had a robots text blocking the catalog because they didn't want the spiders banging on uh, in the catalog using server resources. So it took us uh, seven months to get rid of that. Once we got rid of that, then we fixed the templates. So we made the template uniform across every country. Six content management systems, as many different hosting environments, so fixed every one of those. Um, and then the next thing, I think I actually tell you what we did. Um, so we looked at the current rankings and magically there was no rankings. We found out that the entire catalog of hundreds of thousands of pages totally missing from the search engine. Um, we fixed the templates. They had a bunch of redirections and complex URLs. We fixed all that. So over the course of about 9 to 12 months, we fixed all these things. Um, we created XML, uh, country specific XML to push all the pages into the index. Almost immediately, because of those XML files, the pages started to get indexed. Um, so if you don't have those, seriously think about them. 
Um, so what we ended up with, 82% of tier one words, which is about 3,000 words, um, were on the first page in, in almost every market within just a couple weeks. So you can imagine the volume of traffic that will start coming in from doing that. And again, we did this to the infrastructure, we didn't do it to every country. The, the pages were pushed out to the country and we started realizing this benefit. <coughs> the majority of the traffic is now from search for almost nothing. I mean, they're using paid search before in many cases. Um, and it was an exponential increase in sales. I mean, it's the kind of sales increase that people get promoted and very large bonuses and raises <laughs> for uh, when you realize these kind of gains. And all it was was going through the very, very methodical process of making sure things were included, things were scored properly, and that we had good descriptions and things like that. So, I was going to ask, what's a country-specific XML sitemap? Yeah, so every country, so like there are 230-some countries, every one of them had its own XML sitemap. And I'll show you why we did that in just a moment. But again, do we know what an XML sitemap is? <coughs> You do or don't? You do? Okay. So if you don't, it's essentially it's a file with a list of all the pages on your website. By doing them individually for every country, we have a lot of control and flexibility, um, which is the slide after this one. Okay. So I'll, I'll point to that. So common things we see, this is Cisco. They should know better. Uh, Pop-ups. This is all their countries. They weren't able to get through to index their country pages. Uh, pull down country maps. So we can do this if you do it right. Um, at IBM, they weren't doing it right. It was a JavaScript with no no script tags, so we couldn't get um, into the country pages. Um, next was restricted JavaScript, which puts this nice little message saying, go back and you technically deficient person and update your browser. Well, none of the engines will accept JavaScript. So every one of those are going to get bounced out. Um, and so that's what you end up seeing is you go from 10 million pages or 50 pages to zero pages very quickly. Um, the next one are things like restrictive robots text. Um, and so this, you know, BMW had this, they built a new site. This was before they got caught for spamming. Um, they built a brand new site, the agency loaded it with the robots text file from the staging server. Entirely missing from the search engine, traffic went down. Someone finally <coughs> saw a report a couple months later said, how come we don't get any more traffic from search? You know, I don't know. And so they went and looked and found that they had blocked the entire site from the engines, fixed it, and immediately they started being crawled. It's more common. I've won three clients that way. I mean, $100,000 clients just because you could see something as silly as a robot's text file. Um, it's very, very, very common. So if you search people in the room, want a good gig, watch the press releases from big companies that launch new websites, just go check out the robot's text file. <laughs> Find one, call them up. I, I bet you're missing from Google. Why well, yes? Well, I can tell you how to fix it, and then you know, charge them a lot of money to fix it. 